Honor 7A. Yes, this is a budget phone. Being a budget phone under 10,000 rupees, it has got a dual camera setup. And along with that, there is some really nice settings inside this camera. So when you utilize it properly, it can give you some awesome looking images. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, the camera setting details of the Honor 7A. As you guys know, if you are familiar with my channels, you'll be uh, watching my videos and you'll be knowing that how much in depth I explain all the features that's available inside your camera phone. So with, uh, with that said, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and do like this video if you find it helpful. All right, then without wasting any more time, let's look at the Honor 7A's camera settings in detail. So guys, the first setting that I'm going to show you is really really nice and awesome. Just uh, observe the uh, settings that I'm going to show you. So as you can see, there is a river stream over here and there are a couple of just grown over uh, leaves here. And how you can uh, actually capture some really awesome images of these leaves. That's what I'll be showing you. Let's follow. So as you guys see, the first thing you need to be careful is about the framing. Now if I just hold like this, this doesn't make any sense. If I hold like this, this doesn't make any sense because there is a lot of distractive elements over here. Now what I'll do is just observe how you need to take these kind of images very nicely and very neatly. Let's say this is my framing. As you can see there is a river stream over here and there are a lot of leaves grown. Uh, it just goes to the depth and follows the river stream. That's how it's gonna look. And just if I capture it normally, this is the normal user interface of the camera. Just if you open the camera, this is what you'll find. And if I just click a picture, all right. So as you can see now, everything is pretty much sharp and in focus, right? And there is this focus missing over here because I did not use the tap to focus. And it rather thought that this is the proper thing to focus and the focus distance is over here right now. Now, how you can avoid this and get some really good looking images? Just look at this, there is this wide aperture mode as you can see, just if you tap on that once, wide aperture enabled. So once you frame this thing properly, just go ahead and click a picture and boom, there you go. Now as you will see, with the images I have taken, the leaves is pretty much sharp and with that said, the rest of the thing is completely blurred guys. This is awesome uh, feature that's available on the 7A or uh, rather other uh, Honor phones as well. And there is this, when you go to the gallery, open this uh, same image, there is this mark over here, wide aperture. That means it says you have captured with the wide aperture enabled. And if you again just click on that, here you can see how much ever you want, you can pretty much blur the background completely. So if I increase the aperture mode here, just uh, where you want to focus, again you can refocus that. And after that, if you save the image, now you will see that pretty much everything is out of focus. So that's blur, background blur, and this is very, very sharp. So this is how you capture the image with the wide aperture enabled. Very much useful for capturing portrait shots or even the close-up images of subjects like this. Alright, let's uh, shift to the next image. I'll show you next setting. So guys, the next setting that I'm going to show you here is if you just swipe right like this, here's the HDR mode. Now already you probably know how to use the HDR mode, but still in brief I would say that, just a tip, do not use HDR while capturing person's faces. So HDR is used pretty much to capture landscape images, so that way it covers all the shades of highlights over here as well as shadows. So this way HDR gives you really nice images. It rather captures three images, stacks itself and gives you one single image with all the dynamic range covered in a single image. So that's when you use the HDR and not while capturing any person's faces. So keep that in mind. That's the HDR mode here. Again, if I swipe right, there's this watermark. So you can add your own watermark, which is really awesome. Uh, not really you'll find in many phones nowadays. Uh, you only have the option of uh, writing the dual camera setup from that particular brand but in the Honor 7A you can give your name as the watermark so as you can see here there are other settings here if you just click on next so there are variety of options as a watermark you can use it while capturing images so there are others to load as well so just say that I want to use this watermark so what I'm going to do is, if you just tap on I am here, here you will find you can give your name. 
so let's say if I just type in the name here and press on tick mark so it asks for this key keyboard all right so here's the watermark so here's the watermark of ourselves you can use your name and here's the temperature and other information as well so this is how you use the watermark on a honor 7a and another setting here is to look at is the filter so there are uh, as you guys know already there is live filter available so you can browse through the filters and use that whichever you find it very interesting so again if i just uh, swipe right like this if uh, the filter mode is enabled if you just tap on that again it will get disabled otherwise you can always tap this cross mark there is also this settings here as you can see if you just tap on this you will have the filter level set so you can pretty much set the filter level on your based on your liking so if you want to just disable this filter just tap on cross mark and then it gets disabled next one thing an important thing i'll show you here is inside the settings if you just swipe right like this here you'll find all the settings so one by one the first one is the resolution as you guys know resolution changes the changes the aspect ratio and also decreases the image size so there is 10 megapixel at 1 is to 1 aspect ratio if i just tap on 1 is to 1 aspect ratio and click a picture this way without losing any frame you can actually share your pictures on instagram very instantly so you don't have to post crop the image in order to share it on instagram so that's a very useful feature and again if i swipe left like this there is the resolution there is 18 is to 9 which covers full view so if you want full view there is this 18 is to 9 at 9 megapixel as you can see 18 is to 9 aspect ratio image is here and if i again swipe right like this there is this 18 is to 9 at 5 megapixel as well say that you want to share your images and there is not really much space left so you can always capture with less megapixel pictures so there is this 13 megapixel at 4 is to 3 aspect ratio the another setting here is GPS tag. If you want to enable location, you can always do that. There is this assistive grid. So there are uh, four options here. I always suggest you to use this grid option, which is really important. This enables you to take the pictures with proper horizontal level. As you can see, if I hold like this, this is not the proper professional angle to capture pictures. So what you have to do is make sure everything is level to the horizontal and then click a picture. Use this assistive grid as a reference line. That's really important. The another thing here is uh, mute. So if you don't want that shutter sound, you can always mute that. There's this timer over here, this audio control. So these settings works while you are capturing video. Say that you are shooting a video and you want to control the audio, you can always use this meter here. There is touch to capture. So if I just enable this, if I just uh, touch on tap to focus and again press, so you don't have to even press at all in Xiaomi phones you should rather tap to focus and then press again but here it just focuses automatically and captures images for you which is really awesome and there is a capture smile so if somebody is smiling it takes pictures uh, touch and hold if you just touch and hold the shutter button it takes burst images so more than uh, one image say around 10 images in a couple of seconds that's awesome so one important awesome feature on the honor phones is the ultra snapshot so as you can see what this does is open camera and take quick snapshot say that i just lock the phone now if i just double press this volume button say I press this volume button make sure you frame where you want to take the image and then just double press this one so the camera opens and captures your image in rather just one second so how cool is that so you don't miss any frame say that somebody is going you want to quickly capture the image just use the volume button twice and instantly it captures the image which is really awesome feature on this honor 7a so dear friends as you saw honor 7a has got some really nice tricks up its sleeves so if you use it properly you'll get some really nice images so i hope this tutorial helped you take better pictures if has hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos all right then see you all in another one till then take care bye bye